Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals, which is basically finding the area under the curves. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here, the question tells us that the parabola y square equals 4x divides the area of the circle x square plus y square equals 5 into two parts. And the question is asking us to find the area of the smaller part here. So we have to basically find the area of the smaller part out of the two parts. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 2 over 3 plus 5 sine inverse of 2 over root 5. The second answer choice we have here is 2 over 3 plus square root of 5 sine inverse of 2 over root 5. The third answer choice we have here is 1 over 3 plus 5 sine inverse of 2 over root 5. And the last answer choice we have here is 1 over 3 plus root 5 sine inverse of 2 over root 5. So these are the four answer choices that we have been given here. Let's see how to solve this question further. Before starting off with this solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in a feasible way. Let's see how to solve this question further now. So we have been given a parabola, which is y square equals 4x. So I know it's a general equation of a parabola, y square equals 4x, which will be basically symmetric about the x-axis. So this is how your parabola would look like. y square equals 4x. And the other equation that we have been given is uh, x square plus y square equals 5. Which is basically an equation of a circle. So if I compare it with x square plus y square equals r square. I get square of the radius is 5. So the radius basically becomes root of 5. So we have been given a circle as well which is basically x square plus y square equals 5. Or I can write this as square root of 5, the whole square. So that basically gives me the radius of the circle as root 5. So when I have the circle's radius with me, I can say this coordinates are root 5 comma 0. This basically becomes minus root 5 comma 0. This is 0 comma minus root 5. And the upper coordinate is 0 comma root 5. So these are the four coordinates of the circle that we have here, which is basically the intersection points of the circle with the X and Y axis. Let's also find the intersection point of the two curves. So if I try to find that intersection point of the two curves, I know the two equations of circles are Y square equals 4X and the other is X square plus Y square equals 5. So if I use that idea here, I get x square plus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. So instead of y square, I've just substituted 4x here. So if I do that, I get x square plus 5x minus x because I want the product to become negative 5. And further, if I solve, I get x plus 5 and x minus 1 equals 0. That gives me x as negative 5 or x as 1. So negative 5, if you understand, it would go beyond this. So that's not definitely an intersection point. So here I understand x should be equals to 1. So I get the x coordinate of the intersection point that is 1. And if I want to find y also here I get y square equals 4. So y becomes plus 2 or minus 2. But since it is above the origin it is plus 2. So I get this intersection points as 1 comma 2. Now once I have the intersection points and this intersection point will become 1 comma negative 2 because we have two values of y either plus 2 or minus 2. So what I can do is I have been told here to find the area of the smaller region or area of the smaller part when the two curves intersect. So if you see there are two regions formed here 
one is this region and the other is this region. So I can see from here and tell that this is basically the smaller part, the one which is shaded with the pink highlights. So that is the area that we have to find out. So instead of finding the entire area for this question, we will just figure out what is the area of this much portion between this parabola and the circle above the x-axis. Whatever we get here for this part, we will just double it so we get the area of the entire smaller part. So let's just find the area of this much part. Let's try to do that. So we have a parabolic curve, which is like this. And then there comes a circles equation. And this is your x-axis. This intersection point we just figured out it was 1 comma 2. This is your radius of the circle, which was having the coordinates root 5 comma 0. And this had the origin coordinates 0 comma 0. So we have this three coordinates with us. Now, once we have these three coordinates, what I can do further is I can just, let's draw a dotted line here. So that basically dotted line, if I'm drawing, I get that region basically divided into two smaller parts. So I'll find the area of the two smaller parts individually and get the answer for the question. So I'll take a vertical strip here. So if I'm taking a vertical strip here, and if I'm taking a vertical strip here, my areas would be basically in terms of y dx with the limits of x1 to x2 because we have taken the vertical strips. So basically this vertical strip goes from x equals to 0 till x equals to 1. So my limits for the first part of the area if I'm finding it goes from 0 to 1 and y it's basically the equation of parabola y square equals 4x and this is your equation of circle x square plus y square equals 5. So from here I get this y if I want to find it I get this y taking square root on both sides to root x. So I get integral of 0 to 1 to root x dx that is the first area of this which part of the region that we have figured out. Now if I find the second part of this region which is basically this it's again given by another vertical strip that has the x coordinates from 1 to root 5. And if I see integral of y dx, so if I figure out y, y square is 5 minus x square. Or I can write this as y as square root of 5 minus x square. So that gives me square root of 5 minus x square dx. So we have these two areas to be figured out. I will add both of them so I get the area of this much part and then we have to double it to get the total area of the smaller part. So let's do that. So basically if I talk about the required area of the smaller part of the common region. If I try to figure out it's basically double of 0 to 1. 2 root x dx and the other limit goes from 1 to root 5 square root of 5 minus x square dx. So we are adding both of that so I get the area of this and doubling it to get the area of the entire smaller part. So let's try to do that. Now if I further try to do this I get 2 integral of 0 to 1 to out 0 to 1 and root x I can write as x raised to half dx plus 1 to root 5. This I can write this 5 as root 5 squared. So it basically becomes a squared minus x squared dx. So we get this. Now if I use my ideas of integration, the formulas, it gives me integral of x raised to n dx. If I want to have the answer for this, gives me x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. But since we have the limits here, we don't need to add this constant of integration. And if I talk about the formula for this, we have integral of square root of a square minus x square dx as x over 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square over 2 sine inverse of x over mod of a or I can write x over a plus c. So mod of A means basically that entire thing will always become positive. So we have these two formulas. Let's just apply the two formulas and get the answer for the question here. 
So if I use that, it gives me two twos out. Integral of x raised to half, that basically gives me x raised to three over two divided by three over two. Because n plus one gives me half plus one, which is three over two. And if I use the other idea, the limits go from zero to one here. And the other one, if I use the idea, it gives me x over two. So x over two as it is square root of a square. So a square is root five square, which is five minus x square plus a square over two. So five over two sine inverse of x over root five. The limits here in this case goes from one to root five. So we get this entire thing. Now further, let's try to figure out. So you get two into two over three. So four over three, one raised to three over two, which is basically one minus zero. Plus here, if I substitute these values, let's see what I get. So from here, I get this as root five over two square root of five minus five, which is basically zero a square over two. So five over two sine inverse of one minus if I solve this also, I get half square root of five minus one square, which is four plus five over two sine inverse of X in this case is one. So I'll keep that as one over root five. So we have this idea. Now further, and that 2 is multiplied throughout here with this entire thing. So let's try to solve this. So I get 2 times 4 over 3 plus, this becomes 0, and sine inverse of 1 is pi over 2. So you get 5 over 2 into pi over 2 because sine 90 is 1. Minus, you get here 2 over 2 because square root of 4 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1 and 5 over 2 sine inverse of 1 over root 5. So further, if I try to solve it, I am multiplying this 2 inside. Afterwards, let's do it. First, let's try to simplify. 4 over 3 minus 1 gives you 1 over 3, plus 5 pi over 4, plus 5 over 2 sine inverse of 1 over root 5. So we have this. And if I just put that 2 inside, multiplying all of the terms with 2, I get from here directly 2 over 3 plus 2 into 5 pi, so 10 pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 2. And here I get this as 2 plus, so this was minus, so it should be minus 5 over 2, not plus 5 over 2. So we have to change that. So it basically becomes minus 5 sine inverse of 1 over root 5. So we have this entire thing as the answer with us. So I get the answer as 2 plus 2 over 3 plus 5 pi over 2 minus 5 sine inverse of 1 over root 5. So we have this entire thing now. If I see the answer choices, the answer choices are in terms of only two terms. So that pi which is there, which we have gotten here, 5 pi over 2, that's not there. So what we can do further here is I can write this as 5 and pi over 2 is nothing but what? Sine inverse of 1. So I can write that as just sine inverse of 1 and minus 5 sine inverse of 1 over root 5. And once I have that, I get this is 5 sine inverse of 1 minus sine inverse of 1 over root 5. So once I get this, let's understand how to solve this question further. So now if we use the idea here, sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of y, we know the formula for that basically becomes sine inverse of x square root of 1 minus y square minus y square root of 1 minus x square. So we have this entire understanding here. Let's use that here. So I get 2 over 3 plus 5. Sine inverse of x in this case is 1. And square root of 1 minus y square. So y square is 1 over root 5. So I get square of that is 1 over 5 minus y 1 over root 5 and square root of 1 minus 1, which is 0. So I get this. Now let's try to simplify this. So I get 2 over 3 plus 5. Sine inverse of this entire thing becomes 0. 
you're left with only the first part of the expression which says sine inverse of root of 1 minus 1 fifth which is basically 4 fifth and square root of 4 we know it is 2. So 2 over 3 plus 5 sine inverse of 2 over root 5. So now I have just two terms as required by the answer choices. And if I see, I have 2 over 3 for the first part. So these two answer choices are out. And if I see it was sine inverse of 2 over root 5 only with 5. It was not root 5, it was 5. So this is the correct answer. So I get the correct answer for this question and that is option A. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we just plotted the two curves. We found the area of the smaller part. So this was the smaller part and we divided into two halves. We just found the area of this much part and divided it, multiplied it with two to get the area of the entire smaller part. And that half part, we already divided into two more parts, taking two strips. We got two areas using our integrals and we added them and multiplied it with two to get our area of the smaller part, which basically matches with answer choice A. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving every day. Thank you.